Hello team, we're back. Um, and today we're going to talk about how to access and use your holding tank, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is going to be definitely a very important video because uh, as you bring in new business partners into your Total Life Changes uh, business, uh, they're going to go into what's called your holding tank. Uh, normally, uh, the old way, when you first signed someone up before, they will fall into your binary, but now they fall into your actual holding tank. So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about how to access the holding tank and also how to take them out the holding tank and place them in your genealogy. So the first thing you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is when you log in um, to your back office, of course, you're going to be on this page here. You want to click on uh, My Business. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after you click on My Business, the next tab you want to click on is on the left. You want to click on where it says Binary Tree Viewer. Viewer, ladies and gentlemen, is going to take you to this page here that shows you your genealogy or your graphical downline. Okay, so we wait for that to pop up. There it is. Okay, so once that comes up, ladies and gentlemen, now if you look on the right hand side, you're going to see a little green arrow right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're doing this video because it's not out in the open, so we're showing you exactly how to get to it. So once you click on this green arrow right here, ladies and gentlemen, then you're going to see what is called your holding tank. Okay. So this is where everyone's going to go when you personally enroll someone, ladies and gentlemen. Now, there's some rules on how this holding tank works, okay? Now, how the holding tank works, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, they will sit in the holding tank all, uh, as for as long as uh, up to 11.59 p.m. Thursday night, okay? The computer will automatically place them based on what leg you have it on as far as your preferred placement. And that's going to be another video I'm going to do down the road uh, later on, uh, how to work your preferred placement and how to change your preferred placement. But in the meantime, as you can see right here, uh, we have one person sitting in the holding tank, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, as you can see right here, they, they show you the steps on how to take the people out the holding tank. So you've got step one. It's telling you to use a search bar to find the person's name that you want to place them under. Step two, you're going to click on the member that you wish to place which is the person right here in the holding tank. Step three, we're going to click on a new placement sponsor. Step four, a pop-up window is going to appear. Step five, your placement is going to be completed. So, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and do that for you right now so you can see exactly what they're talking about. So, first things first, what, they're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to search the name of the person that we wanted to place them under. Either first name or last name, it doesn't matter. You just put the first name here. In this case, we're just going to use the first name. Okay, so here. The, person, uh, the person's name comes up. Once you see that person's name come up that you want to place them under, you're going to click on that person's name so it, it can show. So their graphical genealogy can show up. Now, the next thing you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, once the person's name shows up, you're going to go to the person in the holding tank. Okay, so let me put this down here. Okay, so you're going to go to the person that's sitting in the holding tank. You're going to highlight the person's name. Okay. So once you highlight the person's name, ladies and gentlemen, you come back to over here to the person you want to place them under. You will click up here, not the plus sign. You're going to click the actual box right here. So once you click that box, you're going to get a, another pop-up that says you have chosen to place your new person underneath IBO number 9640571. Now it's telling you, it's asking you, do you want to place them on the left side and on the right side? So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we want to place them on the right side. So we're going to go ahead and click right side. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and click place member. Once we do that, ladies and gentlemen, that you're going to get a green arrow saying that it, it was successfully done. And like I said before, it says right here, it could take up to five minutes. Later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we went, we went ahead and placed uh, our new enrollee, our new rep. So what we're going to do now, let's come back to the holding tank. And as you can see, there's no members there at this time. So now let's go into genealogy and make sure our person was placed. So we're going to go back and search the other uh, last person uh, we had before. Now oh, he's actually uh, sitting in the genealogy now, ladies and gentlemen. So... That is how you take your members out the holding tank, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, be sure to do it uh, before 11.59 Thursday every week. Because if not, 
uh, the computer will automatically place them in the genealogy based on what placement you have set. And that will be another video I'm going to be talking about in the near future. I will be doing on a video on a preferred placement. You want to make sure you have the preferred placement set so uh, all your people fall in the right place, ladies and gentlemen. So hope that helps, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you work your holding tank. As you can see, congratulations. Our new rep is in the genealogy. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, see you at the top.